slacker. U.S. mother's angered excuse me as Harry breaks U.S. rule to take five months off over Lily birth. Prince Harry has been challenged on taking five months of paternity leave following the birth of Lilibet Diana. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed the arrival of their newest addition to the family on June 4. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who named their second child after the Queen and Princess Diana, are set to take five months' leave following the birth. Royal expert Marlene Koenig compared this to American mothers and insisted it is not the norm. Harry and Meghan are planning for Lilibet to be christened at Windsor in front of the Queen, royal sources have told Richard Eden. They've accused the Queen of handing down genetic pain and suffering and charged unnamed relations with racism, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are apparently eager to cling on to the perks of life in the royal family. A royal source said Prince Harry and Meghan want a royal christening for their baby, Lilibet, held in the presence of the Queen. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Ms. Koenig said, it's sort of funny that their foundation has this sort of thing when it's not the norm in the US because we have no national policy on paternity leave. The federal government has for federal workers an X number of weeks of paid leave. She added, there is more of it but there's no national policy. It's interesting, five months. Most American mothers are like, excuse me. For the majority of American moms you have to save your sick leave, your vacation pay and cobble it together unless you have a good employer. Royal biographer Ahmed Scobie told Good Morning America, We're so used to seeing senior royals going back to work but Harry and Meghan are leading by example. They offer up to 20 weeks parental leave at Archul, it'll be several months off work for the pair of them. The California-based couple's intentions are said to have been made clear during Harry's visit to this country for the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue earlier this month. Harry told several people that they want to have Lily christened at Windsor, just like her brother, a royal source tells Eden Confidential. They are happy to wait until circumstances allow. The Mail on Sunday's diary editor Charlotte Griffiths explained that the Princess Diana statue unveiling is a missed opportunity for Meghan. Asked whether Meghan will ever return to the UK, Ms Griffiths told speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, when she finally does it will be such a big deal. It's almost not worth thinking about. In another rear you can imagine Meghan would have absolutely loved to come over for the unveiling of the Diana statue, her daughter's middle name is Diana. However, the Duke of Sussex departed the UK just a day after the statue unveiling of Princess Diana as Meghan Markle was missing him. The Duke of Sussex was reported to have plans to sit down with his grandmother, the Queen but it is not clear if he had the time to during his two days outside of isolation. Nine News Royal correspondent Natalie Oliveri said, Harry was in the UK for less than a week. He really didn't have time with his family and didn't have time to mend any of those rifts that have occurred with his brother. It's actually quite good for Brand Markle that she keeps this association with the royal family once and a while. It's an opportunity missed but how can she possible face up to it? The royal couple have also been encouraged to return to the UK to hold a christening for their new daughter Lilibet Diana. It would be Meghan's first visit to Britain since the couple quit royal duties last year. Interestingly, six weeks after Lily's birth, she has not yet been given the eighth place in the line of succession that she is due, according to the official royal website. It's understood that the list will not be updated until after the christening. Lily would bump the Queen's second son, Prince Andrew, into ninth place. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped down as senior royals in March 2020, have not released any details about a future christening yet. Royal commentator Ian Lloyd has said it would help repair bridges and give the royal family a chance to meet the latest edition. The royal family